Welcome back in problem number 39. We'd like to take a look at this uh, boat being pulled toward a dock problem. And so let me just set it up for you. We have a dock over here and it has a ring at the top which a, a rope is being pulled through. And what happens is as we pull the rope through the ring that's attached to the boat, the boat is moving in towards the dock. And the rope itself is being pulled in at a constant rate of three feet per second. And we want to know how fast is the boat moving toward the dock at a specific uh, time. And that specific time is going to be when <coughs> uh, the boat is 10 feet away from the dock. Okay, so what we have to be really careful about here is setting up the problem in the right way and labeling the appropriate things in the picture, the things that are changing, okay? So I see two things in this problem that are changing. The first thing that's changing is the distance between the boat and the dock. And so I'm just gonna call the distance between the boat and the dock, let's call that X. And then I also have the length of the rope uh, between the ring on top of the dock and the boat, and so let's call that Z. All right. Uh, also, I have this distance from the ring down to the water line, and they tell us in the problem that the, that is five feet. Okay, so the five feet is never changing, right? So I don't need to assign it any sort of a variable. And now I can set up an equation that relates this X this z and this 5 together. So I can say by the Pythagorean theorem that x squared plus 5 squared is equal to z squared. All right, so we've got a formula that relates all of the different things in the problem that are changing. Now that we've got this equation, we can take the derivative uh, with respect to t and if I do, the derivative of x squared is 2x times dx dt. The derivative of 25 is 0, so that's just 0. And the derivative of z squared is 2z dz dt. Uh, what we're trying to figure out here is how fast is the boat being pulled toward the dock. In other words, the change in x over time. So we're looking for dx dt, and in order to find dx dt, I really need to know what x is, what z is, and what dz dt is. So far, I know two of those. I know that we're interested in how fast this thing is coming toward the dock when x is equal to 10. But when x is equal to 10, we can figure out what the z is from our original formula. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what then would be the value of z if x is equal to 10. So let's figure that out. So if x is 10, I get 10 squared plus 5 squared is equal to z squared. In other words, we get that this is 100 plus 25, so 125 is equal to z squared. And so what's z? It would be the square root of 125. Or if you prefer, let's see, that's how many 25s? 5 25s. So this is the square root of 5 times 25. Or if you prefer, this is... 5 um, square roots of 5. Okay, so z would be 5 root 5. Um, okay, so now that we've got z, we can go back to this equation. We now know x. We now know z. We know dz dt because we know that the rope is being pulled in at three feet per second. We need to be a little bit careful here though because the 
is z getting smaller as a quantity or is it getting bigger as we pull in the rope well it's pretty clear that as i pull in the rope z gets smaller so that means that dz dt needs to be a negative value okay so let's plug things in we've uh we've got two times x which is 10 times dx dt which is what i'm trying to figure out is equal to 2 times z which now i know is 5 root 5 times dz dt uh, which now i know is negative 3 okay let's put this all together I get 20 times dx dt is equal to, let's see what we've got here. I've got 2 times 5 is 10 times negative 3 is minus 30 root 5 over, um, well, I haven't made that division yet. So just minus 30 root 5. Now I can divide both sides by 20. I get that dx over dt is equal to negative 30 root 5 divided by 20. Or if you prefer, we could simplify a little bit, and we get minus 3 root 5 over 2. So the rate at which the boat is approaching the dock is minus 3 root 5 over 2. And if we were to put units on that, what would it be? Well, dx, x is being measured in feet in this problem. So let's put this in. This is feet per. Uh, time is being measured in seconds in this problem. So seconds. And so our answer is negative 3 root 5 over 2 feet per second.